Now we'll go back a little bit. Virupa <coughs> Goswami has given the world sublime scientific rasa scriptures. <coughs> Books like Bhakti Rasmita Sindhu <coughs> and Ujvala Nilamani, <coughs> in which he taught practicing devotees the truth about Rasa. <coughs> So spiritual flavors, prema, love of God, and sadhana, devotional. So that some fortunate practitioners have been able to enter into the confidential truths of God. He has also written prayers, <laughs> praises, <laughs> poetry, <laughs> and theater plays, <laughs> in which he revealed <laughs> the spiritual flavors. <laughs> of Radha and Krishna's pastimes and the mood of their maidservants, Manjari Baba. Sri Ramananda Raya, the foremost of Rasika devotees in the world, first read these masterpieces to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu near the cottage of Sri Haridas Thakura at Puri. In Chaitanya Chamrita Shri Krishna Das Kavigaja writes <coughs> So hearing this Ramananda Rai submitted to the Lord's lotus feet <laughs> I praise the poetry of Rupa with a thousand mouths. This is not poetry. It is a stream of nectar. It contains all the definitions of drama and the quintessence of all philosophical conclusions. These wonderful descriptions show his loving expertise. And when the ears hear it, they become dizzy of ecstatic love. Without your power, no ordinary living entity can speak like this. I suppose you are empowering him to speak like that. Yes. Have you studied? Please unmute. Oh. 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 O
Oh, sorry. Yes, it's still reading already. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, it's an early morning here also. <laughs> sorry. So this is explaining how glorious Rupa Goswami's writings are. Rupa Goswami is writing in the way of a drama. All the, the very deep truth about Radha and Krishna's divine love and also all philosophy, how to understand that we are eternal maidservants that want to come back and enter into their Leela. And Ramananda Roy is so praising Rupa Goswami's poetry because he himself also is a very deep and, you know, very close associate of Srimadhi Radhika. Ramananda Roy is Vishaka. And also Ramananda Roy was experiencing how it is when Chaitanya empowers him to speak. We remember that when they meet for the first time, then Lord Chaitanya was asking questions to Ramananda Roy and he was answering them and going from Vanashrandam to the highest understanding of Madanakya Mahabharata. And he felt at that moment, my Lord, you are letting me speak. I am not the speaker. In the same way, he is now saying to Rupa Mantra, uh, Rupa Goswami, no one can speak and write like this without having the mercy of Chaitanya. So same thing also with anyone who would like to praise Rupa Machari, Rupa Goswami, all the Goswami's literatures. We need to have some mercy for that, feelings of gratitude, feelings of connectivity, and the mercy of our Buddha that is giving us this chance to do service like speaking. About Rupa Machari, Rupa Goswami, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So that is a special service, this explaining or sharing of the uh, divine truth. And all Vaishnavas are so great, uh, you know, happy when we are sitting and sharing. And also at the time of Rupa Goswami, they all like giving him a tap on the shoulder. Well done! <laughs> you have realized what is the heart of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Because Mahaprabhu was always walking and dancing and singing and feeling the feelings of Nikunja Lili in his heart, in his whole personality. Radha and Mohan are constantly meeting and only very close maid servants can feel the same. So that is the secret that Rupa Manjari was revealing this to the world, giving us also the chance to feel the feelings of a mitzvah. And he did it in such a expert way, poetry, drama. It is said that he was writing different, different uh, drama pieces like Vidakta Madhava, Lalita Madhava. 
Und bis auf Surprise. And about uh, Giridaj, Govardhan, yes, uh, you know, Leela. Yeah. And Raghunath Das Goswami was so, you know, he was so sensitive. Was so interesting. Once he get one Leela to read, he was asking, oh, Rupa Goswami, what is your new, uh, uh, you know, revelations? And he read it. And it was about separation feelings. And he became very sad. Because he was feeling, you know, because they are very good. He became sad. So quickly, Rupa Goswami write another one. Poetry or books or drama. Where Radha Mohan meet again. Because Raghunath Das Goswami was so sensitive, that was later ne? in uh, Radha <coughs> that whatever Rupa Goswami feel in his, you know, writings, he also feel it. And then he become sad when it was separation. So he cried. And not only one day, it was like for a long time. Rupa Goswami became worried about this disciple. So quickly he writes something for meeting of Radha. And then he again. That was Dana Kelly Dana Kelly, you something? I just. Joseph, little notes. <laughs> And we have heard also <laughs> when Rupa Goswami was writing about Radha and Moha's separation, he was in Terkadamba also in that place in Vrindavan, around Vrindavan. It's a very beautiful place. I think we went there together yeah. with Jai Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful And he would write something about separation feelings. And the tree underneath which he was sitting lost all the leaves, became a dry. Because of the feelings, the same feelings, same intense feelings. And then if you write something about the meeting of Radha, then the tree would develop the flowers and blossom again the same tree. So you see, even the tree become uh, enlightened. And that is the speciality when someone is realized in their relationship, then others who hear this will also have similar feelings. And that is the speciality of Rupa Goswami, that he came and revealed this to all of us. And of course our Gurudev, all our Vaishnavas, they are also helping us understand and feel more. Because sometimes I don't feel so much, but it will develop. Mm. Because we develop relationships like here. Um, I only want, would like to repeat and to emphasize the situation that Ramananda Roy, that, that she did on the Mahaprabhu, she told God personally speaks to, to a person and This intimacy yeah, that is, 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 is really bright shining. It's it's really bright shining. Bright shining. Yeah. That God wants to be so familiar, so in a trusted, trusted relationship, relationship. So, so, so intimate yeah. to reveal his, his really deepest personal feelings. And how much of all Uh, it came through his it, 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 it didn't know what to say it happened and it can all only be expressed in some way in poetry and we can't know it there's also really a, a special rhythm in Sanskrit. It's, it's a very exquisite, complicated rhythm mm. also. So, 
if you could, could, you could listen also to this rhythm in, in Sanskrit and understand. There are two dimensions, perhaps some, some instruments also. <laughs> so, I think it's such, such a special moment. So, yes, changing the world. <laughs> yes, is this something very amazing? Amazing, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> To be, first of all, that we can listen this today. <laughs> yes, that's all. We as a soul have been attracted to, you know, to hear. We are reading and hearing Chaitanya Chaitamrita and also our teachers, they give us the essence because sometimes the body have no, 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 no time to read the whole set at once. Our teachers, they give the food, take the food, you know, take this first, it tastes very good. And then you have more taste, you don't have to take it from A to Z. That is the, the special uh, feature of the divine Leela. It creates in the heart of the little <laughs> the feeling that we need to go back. Mm. And, and become again more mm. tasteful and more enchanted. Mm. That is a, that is a special <coughs> feature actually of divine poetry. Mm. It will make the soul taste the nectar like for which we have always been eager that is the first verse of Shikshastaka and who is giving it? Radharani and Krishna and for some time maybe I don't feel the taste Okay. I need to, you know, listen again and again and go deep into the feeling of those who have already some feelings. It will come. Don't worry. It will come. It already came to me, so don't, you know, I am only ordinary person. So we need to know that you don't need to be very elevated for this. <laughs> we, we are here in Vrindavan, we are listening it, and it will do the job. <laughs> the medicine is working. <laughs> You don't need to understand the medicine, just take it. That is important to always remember. Relax. The soul is happy also. Okay. I take the medicine, I, but I don't understand, but I take the medicine. I have a faith, I have a trust. And that is the mercy of Chaitanya and all the gopis. You know, Vishaka was the gopi, and also Rupa and Rati Manjari are gopis. But they are manjaris. And they have a special uh, you say, prominence in this age of Kali because they give. What has never been given before, they gave this Unata Uchwalas, Gurudev also. Was he was coming here. <laughs> Gurudev was giving also this example. He was sitting yesterday. A uh, special happiness in my heart because it was, you know, something that we have been desiring. When will Gurudev come and get a class in the basement? Yeah. <laughs> By the way, today is a class, uh, I mean initiation also. Yes. 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 If you are eager, Gurdi will be down here again, and there will be initiation. Yes. And that is always such a joy, it's a touching moment. I love it. I think I will love it for the rest of my life, to be in these moments when the connection is made you know, between the soul and the so, Rupa Manjari, who was Rupa Goswami, also had these, you know, special realizations with a lot of feeling and not even with only feeling, seeing. And about this we will listen. 
Yes, please, Arjun. Why not you come? Okay. I feel maybe you're coming. No. Uh, what I heard just, <laughs> it's my vision oh, and feelings. Sure. It's not the same as in official uh, version. So. Official version? Yeah. yeah. We can find official version in the books. But, yeah. Uh, official version is telling what all is who is in this world conditional soul which, which are, was never before be Sarada Mohan in Sayyidullah but my feeling is completely different sorry no um, you it's, can it's, explain it's, 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 it's what the Krishna does what the Krishna does right what the Krishna what is happening here just Lila Lila of saving us what I just heard from Sunita she said we are returning Yes. Yeah. But official version, version there was never before. Yeah. But my uh, feeling is different. Uh, when I'm thinking, uh, it's just Lila. I always wear, means it's my place, it's my home. It's so much connecting me. I'm not conscious, so maybe I will come, maybe no. So much worry. No, I know, I will come. Because it's just Lila. They love me so much, rather and more. Surely, 100%, 100% we will return. Mm. Yes. Because I'm very dear to them. This is my oh, claim. Mm. Not what I'm conditioned so and so. Mm. Once I told here to Gurudev, I'm conditioned so. He told me, forget it, you are Manjari. Thank you all. Very nice. Very nice. There's always two sides to, the ang- to look at something. Mm. So, it's all good. And it's not, you know, it's not right or wrong. It's about the feelings. You know, some, okay. Even Rupa Goswami was writing, like, in the feelings, I am a wretched soul. There are many poets like that. How can he write like that? I am a wretched soul. Ich bin eine gefallene Seele. He is also feeling sometimes like that. This is humility. It is both there, he is eternal maid servant. But being in this world, he feels also sometimes, you know, I am a fallen soul. It's both there. Both feelings can be there. They are all feelings. They are okay. Even Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was writing in his Shikshastaka. Ainanda Tanuta Kinkaram. How have I fallen into that ocean? of suffering. I want to go back to you. Yeah. So it's all only about the feelings. But we, we take the feelings that are inspiring to us. There's no duality in the feelings. Agree? <laughs> Without your power, <laughs> no ordinary living entity can speak like this. I suppose you are empowering him to speak like that. The Lord later connect with that place. Um, once it uh, was with Shilanda Samhach in this place, uh, Bajan Kutiro Haridas Nakur, it's called Sida Baku. Sida Baku in Shilanda Samhach. In Puri, yes, at that place. This conversation was happened there. Okay. And when we visited this place with Shilanda Samhach and he narrated this story, how uh, and I answered to Mahaprabhu, how it possible that Rupa Goswami understand his heart. Mm. And so, in such a way, what fulfilled his most deepest desire in the heart, writing the mood of Shema Radhika, what was covered in form of mundane loving song. Mm. And I that I thought, because he is your Rupa, it means your expansion from one. Oh. From other hand, he is your Rupa Manjari, you are Radha. She is your Rupa Manjari. Of course, she is not your heart. This mm. Samaraj gave to us. It was so beautiful, so sweet. Nice, thank you. <coughs> the Lord later personally confirmed. 
that Sri Ramananda Roy was not mistaken. The Lord said, When I met him at the Prayog, my mind was pleased with his quality. I am very pleased with his poetry, with all its embellishments. Without such poetry, there can be no preaching of rasa. Everyone should be merciful to him and bless him with this boon. Let him always describe the Premarasa of Raja Lila. Tulasi tells Swamini it was by Rupa Manjari's grace that I am now fixed in your service. And now I desire to see the red lack on your lotus like foot そのシステムで。いつ、ライクイザ、イザリーナ。イザリーナ。イツトショーオルソアサンタクスヨシシンライフ。ウィフィル。ユノ、ミッシング。ウィフィル、インコンプリート。ウィスミッシングチェイタニ
So he is giving also this example and showing that by mercy of the Father Swami, I get the light in my heart, in my vision, and something more open to me. Something more that even I did not feel when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was with me. Isn't that amazing? Mm-hmm. How could it be? So you know from the mind, from the intelligence, it is not to be understood. Mm-hmm. But this is the, the Leela that even when the Mandaris come, they show us how to go step by step. They don't need to do it. Because they are internally there. No, it's, it's not that they are conditioned souls, but they do it out of love. They also share you know, their feelings of desperation, of hopelessness. For us, that we always continue to get more things, to get more deep, and to never lose hope, and take shelter of the Manjaris, yet become fixed by this loving, loving relationship. So that I just want to add, because it's beyond duality. But the mind always tries to understand it. But it's not it's beyond the you know understanding levels. It's all about feelings. And they also know how we feel here. And they show us their feelings. So he did not give up. He did not leave his body then. He became 80 years. And, you know, it was also not easy for him. He was still in this feelings of separation and, and then again meeting and it was churning his heart for all those deep realizations why he was crying this year of his mantra. He was crying a lot. Not the same crying like I do sometimes, but still, you know, accept the feelings that are there and go on. That is uh, no, um, how do you say, no fault, no mistake. Sometimes the feelings are higher, sometimes the feelings are lower. Sometimes I'm crying out of self-pity. No? how life is so difficult and how I cannot go on, how I feel so bad. And sometimes I cry when I listen to Gurudev's class because it's so beautiful the tears are coming because I am exchanging love and I feel touched. So don't worry. We will just continue the process and we feel like, you know, just always going on, always going on. The realizations will come. Like Radha Charan said, it is already 100% true. We are already accepted. My Guru Manjari has already taken me to give me to Sri Mataratika. I will just, you know, I will just be always in this confidence. That more and more I can feel it, more and more I will be able to live in this spiritual sense. Uh, I want to repeat some words of Shukhan what he told to me here. He asked me why Raghunath Goswami wants to kill himself. Yes. He came to Brindavan. Yes. And I told because he had so much separation for someone who has so much deep attachment in heart. Shtani Mahaprabhu, Sarupa Damadar, Ramananda Rai, Kadar Pandit. And he told, no, it is a cause of cry, more cry, but not desire to die. Okay. Actually, he heard so much about Saki Baba. Oh, my God. years, both years in Gambira about okay, Saki Baba, okay. Radha Baba, but Saki nothing Baba. about himself. Okay. Um, mm. what, what's the use of me if, not, if I have not 
my destination. In, in, not hard for me to be in this. Mm. Mm. And what is why he came to Raj and wanted to die. Mm. But then Satya Goswami told, no, 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 and Rupa Goswami gave them vision uh, again, vision of Manjari and vision what is his position oh. in this world. Oh. Then Paul came and he was alive mm. and stayed in, Radha, in the bank of Radakun and did his vision. Wow. And stay back. And stay back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank It's so important to hear to be alive means to be inspired be every moment in living this Radhamohan. Now, this means for me sadhana. Sadhana, not me. I will do this and by my efforts I will get. No. For me, sadhana means I want to be with them now. They should be to me. I am hearing about those Majari, about your feelings. I also, my heart is still, oh, it's my eye. Mm. I want it with you, oh, I want it with Shemati Radhika. Mm. With me, for me, suddenly, mm. I just want to be more longer with them mm. when I, I heard this. It's not about, I will do, I will get. Mm. Yeah. It's a uh, mood of doing. Oh. Mm. And, uh, Okay. <laughs> 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 thank you for sharing <laughs> thank you so much for sharing all these beautiful <laughs> feelings <laughs> and Radha Sharan you just what you just said but sometimes I have the same feeling and then I want to be with them it was so far but when I hear and I don't feel you close to me what can I do and then I think oh yes this is my dual mentality and then I ask myself when I say I want to be with you is this selfish is this ego is it better to say I want to please you I want to serve you but at this moment I I feel the separation, I feel my longing to them, and I don't know if this ego is pain or not. But I don't want to judge myself about this. So is this ego or is this really longing? Maybe it doesn't matter, I don't know. I stopped because I forget <laughs> what I would want to tell, but you remind me, so thanks so much. Uh, my heart recognizing that something what is my, what is my, is, um, how to say, this gravitation, how to say, it's pulling me, mm. it's pulling me, it's so much attractive, it's my, it's my desire to be myself, and also, what I, what I hear again and again, Radha is crying about me. She wants me so much. She needs me so much. When I'm understanding this, when I'm feeling this, it's, I don't want, it's not about myself. She's there. She wants me to She needs me. And, okay, if you insist selfish about my, but it's a real selfishness. Real, because it's about my real nature. Mm. It's, it's okay to be myself. Why must be some felt about myself, someone else? Condition so my thoughts and all, someone else, Russia. It's not about me. Being myself, it's, it's, it's correct. What's wrong with this? And even more for, for me, it's more important what Rada wants me. Mm. Also, important <laughs> what I want. <laughs> Without Radhika wants me, not what I want. Devotion means what you want. That I want to serve. What is my desire and what I want to do? I, wa I want to feed you, 
then I want to do the same what you want. That's a raga. Radhe. Yes, good. Thank you. So good if just make it clear. Um, we have the human level, but we want to, in our spiritual relation to Shrimati Radhika, please, like you said, please do what she wants. Do what she wants. That is the question. She wants me and I don't want you. It's not working, my dear. <laughs> Your feeling, I want to serve, this is the devotion. <laughs> and shaking is not bad, but the reason has to change. I'm shaking every other one, but I'm not shaking to myself. So what a spiritual person do? He check always to himself where I am doing mistake, how to change this mistake, where to associate to change this mistake. Checking is always checking going on. How you can be free of checking? Nobody can be free from the checking. How you check? You check to others or you check to yourself? Right. Check to yourself. That's the beauty of checking. A spiritual person will check himself and material person will check to others. <laughs> who is doing what? Who is doing what? So checking is not bad. Not be afraid with checking. Because we have to change the mood of the checking. We have to turn to that. To check. Always to myself, we are right in devotion or not. Well, go on. <coughs> to Lossi, tell Swamili. No, it's fine. It was by Rupa Manjari's grace that I am now fixed in your service. And now I desire to see the red lack on your lotus-like foot soles. And not just seeing, Sandhi Driksha, completely seeing. And when can I admire that red light more than when it shines on a blackish background? <laughs> it would be very sweet if your red lack would perk on Shaman's blackish chest. I want to see your lover's eagerness to color his chest so beautifully with this lack. I don't want to see only you. I also like to see your shaman 
If he is yours, because this is Shrimad Radhika's desire. Shrimati Radhika always needs help from the mantras to find her way also to make the meetings possible. So it's not only that I want to do like my head or my arm. Ah, of course I want to be a mark made so at the highest is when you are happy. Mohan is taking your feet to his chest. So when you both have this very intimate exchange of feelings, then that is complete, a complete satisfaction for the maidservant. Although I'm not really eager to see Shama, on the strength of having taken shelter of your lotus feet, I will automatically still get to see him also. When you decorate your body <coughs> with Sri Radhika's foot dust, you will easily get Giri Giri Hari. Yeah, this is also the point that is uh, important because here it is again shown that the mantra has a different desire from the Sakri. That's about the Sakri's desire. They want to be with Sakya also that they can see Krishna and have association. But mantra is not. They do it selflessly. For the service of Srimati Rasmi. And here, this uh, last sentence, it is a, a, a song by Naratam Dastaku. When you decorate your body with Sri Radhika, you will easily get Kiridhan. So that is like a, it's a natural thing that happens because Radha and Mohan are never separated. And it's not the main thing that the mantra do this to be, you know, having darshan of Krishna. No. They do it for Shrimati Radhika. That point is made. And they are, because they are never separate, then it will be a you know, natural thing to happen. But maidservant wants to please Shrimati Radhika. And because that is again what Rudy also said to you. When you decorate your body, with Sri Radhika's foot dust, you will easily get Giri Dari. This is the internal meaning of the word Samdhi Driksha. There is no end to the stream of <laughs> O Queen of Vrindavana, hear me. Ever since Sri Rupa Manjari engaged me in your devotional service here in Braja. Mercifully glancing at this maidservant's 
with her two eyes. My thirst to see the splendid lack on your lotus feet. Has greatly increased. <laughs> when I see the lack marks on your foot soles, I find even more bliss than when I see the beautiful form of Shama. Which is matchless within the three worlds. So again, here about the feelings of the mandarin, the very condensed form, called addicts, they are in Sanskrit. They love Shimati Radhika more. And even more. When I see the lack marks on your foot soles, I find even more bliss than when I see the beautiful form of Shama. Which is matchless within the three worlds. <laughs> So again, we hear that, that the beautiful and wonderful emotions of Shumati Radhika made them so much fixed in Shumati Radhika that they express boldly your lotus feet are more to me than even the beautiful form of Shumati and that is a unique position of selfless love, of service to Shrimati. And they are teaching or giving us their feelings, remnants. This is the prashad of the feelings of of And by this prashad, by this remnants of their feelings, I can also develop my feelings. It is something that is a natural thing, as you said, because we belong to Shrimati Radhika. But for the sake of our development also, we hear about how it develops. And we hear about the different feelings of other of Shrimati Radhika And Tattva is a foundation for us. They go together. That's why we hear about it, but we don't get stuck in it. It's just to get some you know, foundation. Like we know that the Madres love Shimati Radhika the most, and Shaka, Lalita, and all of them also Shimati Radhika's servants. They also have a relationship with Mohan. They are called the Summer Sneha. And then we have some who are more focused on Krishna altogether. They are living Krishna. Many of them are living in the Surat Madhuri Surat area, Nandagaon area. Nandagaon area. These gopis are like Nandata, Vishamaya, Jaya, Vishamaya. So they all play together, they all live together. But for the faith, sake of learning and differentiating the feeling of different, different groups and their services, we learn also about the different But in the initial going, it's not to break our minds 
。どうしてあんはい。In same time, in her heart, even more desire to worship him, to so much tender lotus feet of Shema Teradika. It means she can be charmed by the beauty of Krishna's seat, but even more desire to serve Shema Teradika's seat. It's the result. Super. Yeah. So, and you? Yeah, I mean, this is verse 14, I feel we've been diving into for I don't know how long, maybe a week or two, maybe. But I feel that、uh, for me to, to dive into this, I feel that each dive is always a fresh dive. And for me personally, there's so much. Resonance in all of these feelings and emotions because there is a strong, also, as you said, there's a strong yearning, like 100% strong, strong eagerness and yearning. So, one thing is this deep resonance that is felt, and also, I feel this serves to. Help me navigate now this resonance. So I can read verse 14. I mean, I'm so eager now, I see the time, and I'm like, oh, we have time, we have to end verse 15. But、uh, yeah, I feel like I can reread verse 14 yeah, each day a little bit. It became my, one of my third,、uh, favorite verses now. I haven't even read any of the verses. 